Aries, ram, rip, ram, rip, ram, uh, ram, uh, ram, uh, ram, uh, ram, uh, gang. We in this, in this thing I say, a uh, ram, uh, gang. We in this, in this thing I say, a uh, ram, gang. We in this, in this thing I say, a uh, ram, a uh, gang. We in this, in this thing I say, a uh, it ain't our birthday, so we can't turn up all the way like that. But <laughs> welcome to Mocha Love Tarot. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I am Mocha. Thank you for all the little likes, shares, and subscribes. <clears throat> I truly appreciate them. <clears throat> I think I'm low-key trying to lose my voice on the slit. But I just, we, we ain't gonna claim that. I'm gonna review it, okay? <laughs> but this is for uh, the sun, the moon, rising, and Venus signs of Aries from the 1st to the 15th of July, 2018. This is just general. All the information that you need can be found within the description below on how to get a personal reading, and I am fully available. Just hit me up, boo, okay? Aries intuitively control your temper. Control your temper. I feel with all of these dark phases that I'm on, even though Mocha has been tested, but on the cool, in the midst of what you think is losing people or losing places or losing things that you feel makes your whole life or you have a love for these things, remember, God say don't be attached to worldly things, okay? So, on the cool, you know what is to elevate. Every level of elevation, you're going to have to leave some things behind. People, places, and things. I understand universally a lot of us are going through a lot of things karmically. Um, we're just having to shake out our closet a little bit to read all the bad, crazy shit. Because within the soul eclipse energy, baby, we're going to be on the money, okay? So just hold on. Keep your tempers, okay? Keep your tempers. Do not allow your tempers to be your demise, okay? Don't talk your way into any type of karma, okay? You allow other people to cut up with their damn swords or whatever because we have the understanding of knowing that, hey, this, and it's funny, as I said, that 222 flashed across the screen, balance everybody, okay? Right now, with these constant shifts, it's like about four different planets, I believe, in retrograde around us for the month of July. So, one of those planets are Mars, Scorpios. You have Scorpio on your chart right now. You could possibly become very conflictive. Um, and I'm not pointing no fingers or none of that, but you, you possibly can be. Um, I'm asking that if you're an Aries sun with a Scorpio moon particularly, take deep breaths. Step back and meditate before you make your decisions, okay? Um, but it has to do with Scorpio and Aries, Mars being our home planet. So, of course, Mars is the planet of war. <laughs> so, a lot of us could be real fiery or easily tempered or easily about things that or people that we love or things that can make us emotional. But, you know, we've all been through the storm to know how to let go, detach, cut it off. It means nothing. Ghost it and keep it moving, okay? Um, there are a lot of triggers and a lot of our shadow side is kind of coming to the forefront for us to really be able to reflect and see our actions, you know what I'm saying, on things and the way that we allow others who've gotten comfortable in our worlds to act around us. And it's about standing up for ourselves but pushing forward. Don't get stuck in that sad energy like, oh, my family, my friends. No, 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 no. It's about you taking that pain and making it into power. Turn that pain into power, okay? I felt that my Aries needed to hear that, all right? So we can rock. Um, again, this is just general. But y'all come in, let me know, because I'm pretty sure this has been a real interesting week for me. <laughs> and my shadow side of this temple and this mouth have really been turned up, okay? Um, but as Aries, y'all understand that we kind of do what we want. We ain't going to be working around other people in our world. If you're in my world, then you already know who I am as an Aries. You know what I'm saying? So you know my Aries is compromising, but it can be very fiery. If I don't like something or someone, you can't make me. You give a damn who you is. You could be Christ, and I'm going to take that leap. You understand? So it's, and I know I'm not the only Aries to feel that way. Because <laughs> that's just who we are. We are always having to focus on um, 
the self because a lot of us are getting so lost i've gotten so lost along the way in putting our focus in the weeds and within the weeds have we seen how circumstances has worked for us so aries were here as we put here as leaders pioneers self we don't need a game to turn up we don't need audience we don't need none of that shit we're just passionate about the things that we feel and because we're passionate about those things we act on them accordingly you know so i just want for this week for y'all to be <laughs> acting accordingly in the right way Hold your temper. If you feel you finna turn up, especially I feel mother figures or maybe sisters or women in your life. This could even be bosses because I feel authority. Um, gargle some damn water. If you gargle the water, you can't talk no shit, especially if it has to do with your livelihood, okay? All right. All right. Let's rock some my Aries. Some moon rising. Venus and cross watchers. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me these messages for me. First the 15th of July. I have already meditated about 10 times today because today has been an interesting day. But y'all know Mocha Mocha is cool. I don't come to YouTube. My energy ain't right. So we get it down. What's going on, Aries? Okay. All right. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. All right, Aries. I think I want to put this over here. Hold on, y'all. I just remember that's an outcome. Okay. <clears throat> Aries, from the 1st to the 15th of July, I feel like a lot of us are being very defensive. Okay, we're... Some of us are going to be defensive, possibly towards a fire sign, okay? A fire, Aries Leo said, strong emphasis on the Leo, but some of us are being defensive in the month of July towards Leo or another Aries Leo Sag um, that we possibly can have children with or someone who we <clears throat> maybe thought we was going to have a, a future with, you know, in the past. I do see in the month of June, this person actually might reach out to you or possibly already happening. We're going into the month of July. Some of us are going to be defensive. Some of us are going to possibly be juggling two people between the month of July. Some of us have been seeing two, two, two. Some of us need to work on balance, okay? The month of July is going to bring that balance that may kind of have us, that little shift have us going up and down. The month of July is going to be very imperative for that restoration of that balance, okay? For some of y'all, you're going into a new cycle, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of y'all who've had um, possibly financial issues or any type of financial hardships or have taken many losses, that, that, that phase of the lives of the Aries is ending, okay? For some of us, some of y'all will need to make a decision on jobs, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could have just left the job in the month of June. You will be getting another job in the month of July. For some of y'all, y'all going to juggle, y'all going to juggle whatever it is that you're creating with a new job, okay? And both of them are going to be something in which you love to do. Some of y'all, if you had to leave a job in the month of June and you're going into the month of July um, and having to find a new job, you possibly want to find that job. I want to say either July the 2nd, it could be the second week of July. Strong emphasis on the second week of July, but it could also be the second as well. For some of y'all, y'all trying to balance love and work, and you feel like you're giving too much to the love department. So some of y'all are going to be walking away from relationships, especially if you're dealing with a job. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all being defensive towards the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who you know is a soulmate, who possibly juggled a relationship with you and someone else in the past, possibly a Leo. Um, but I feel like this strength card is more so just pushing me towards, you know, encouraging my Aries to have strength during this time and just know that cycles are ending. Okay, for if you, I feel like if you're being juggled by an Earth sign or a water sign, okay, or you an earth sign or a water sign you actually gonna give your cup to the water sign pisces cancer scorpio and there's gonna be victory in that possibly after 
leaving an air sign or an earth sign that's sneaky as shit. This could also be a fire sign from your past that's sneaky as shit that's coming in in July. And they're going to want to work things out, especially if you have children with this person. They're going to want to work things out, but they still want to juggle you and somebody else. So you choose your battles, okay? With that one. Let's get some clear fives for my babies, Aries. For me, it's so easy to pick up on the area of energy. And I came down here. I was sitting out bubbling and shit. And for some reason, y'all energy is just so heavy. I want y'all to hold tight, my baby. It's heavy, but it's a, it's a heavy of not like I'm sad. It's a heavy of I don't know how much more of this shit I'm going to take. Aries, fight through your passions for the month of July. If a person ain't feeding you, financing you, or doing anything for you that's going to uplift or encourage you to go forward. Why? Why though? I mean, when really real life, think about it. Like, if you got to write that shit down, it's okay. Because I write stuff down all the time. Why though? Don't entertain foolish people. Especially when you know you're moving for the right person, the right purpose. You allow God to entertain the foolish people. A lot of them foolish people don't know because they're not into this whole chakra thing. The, the, the chakra uh, healing, this whole shamanic shit. They're not into meditation. They're not into none of those things. So a lot of these people that you kind of being defensive towards, understand that if they understood the greater understanding that you have, they wouldn't do the shit that they do. Period. You understand? So don't cry over spilled milk. If people leave your life, let them and thank God for it. Thank them too because it was all a lesson. Some of y'all being defensive towards the cancer. So what the month of July, some of y'all are going to receive a message possibly from someone. Strong emphasis on the cancer. That might piss y'all off to be very, very, very honest. To be very honest. What is the Six of Cups spirit? Please show me the Six of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all may have an earth sign coming back that you're being defensive towards from your past. This person could actually be offering you something. Some of y'all could be receiving something in the mail. Some of y'all got some unexpected child support or something coming in and it's going to come in and catch you off guard. And for some of y'all, that's going to soften the heart of wanting to renew a family situation, this particular offer. And some of us are still going to be defensive towards it. Some of us is going to have a hard time making a decision on what to do and move forward. But I do see some of us who is going to say fuck that shit and have strength in saying fuck that shit and move forward towards a water sign. Hey, um, my bad. Y'all be here because we're knocking on the glass and shit. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all are going to be very defensive um, towards a fire sign. For some of y'all, it is not really a level of defensive. It's more so like I got one last fight in me to try and make the grass. Green on the other side of the pastures with your ass. But if you mess up this one more time, for some of y'all, it's going to actually be if you make the decision to move forward to fix the family situation with your fire sign. As long as you or this person doesn't allow ego to move forward and there's balance and there's boundaries set, there's going to be victory in that because this is a total outcome. It's definitely somebody who either left you in the past or you left them in the past out in the cold. Okay? <clears throat> Let's get it. What's this strength called? Why is the strength card here for my Aries? Yeah, some of y'all gonna have to make a judgment call regarding the Leo. Okay, some of y'all gonna have to ask yourself, how does this person affect my life? Is it in a negative fashion? Is it in a positive fashion? Especially if you have a family with this person. The fact that I see these moons, this could be in this person's moon or just could be in a chart period. But it's a strong emphasis on the Leo. It's a lot of fire and water in this reading. It's either fire and water in all these cards. And I feel that. I feel that love, whether it's a family situation, whether it is a co-parenting situation, whether it is a work situation, Love conquers all, Aries. That's why I say ground yourselves and hold your temper. Listen. Don't listen right now in this time to respond or react, okay? But listen to get a clear understanding, okay? Because oh, everybody have a different perspective and everybody see things differently. 
But if you so busy, angry, and upset because of what somebody said, it don't make you or break you. Listen, okay? Accountability is everything. Before you can grow in any situation, you got to be willing to be accountable for your own actions, even the things that you say or the things that you do that could be out of line. Now, if you're willing to do this, then this other person is willing to do this, then you can be, you can move forward with forgiveness because I do see forgiveness here. Love conquers all. And I feel that this is about 75% of everything I'm talking to. For some of y'all, y'all going to put the shit down and move forward with a water sign like, Look, I'm I'm over it. For some of y'all, y'all wanna finally get over being having misjustice done at a job or work situation. Cause I feel like somebody did my earrings, baby, it's real dirty. But instead of focusing on the cynical things that you can focus on, cause somebody energy is cynical as fuck. Somebody wanna burn some shit up. I'm seeing and feeling so much fire. It's ridiculous right now. Um, but I feel that. Y'all, y'all got to get past them turbulent waters because it's beautiful on the other side, especially if there's children involved in this situation. Because Aries, you are the magician. You can turn this shit around if that's what you choose to do. Don't allow ego to, to, to lead you, but allow your wisdom and your understanding to lead, you know, to lead the things in which you choose to move forward in it, okay? Learn from things that you went through in your past. For everything that you have going on, in the month of July, I want you to think back at some area in your life where you went through that before. Your goal in this whole journey is to do things better than you did the last time. Even if other people are not willing to work that out because you can't control the actions of other people, but you can control how you deal with them or if you deal with them, you're the magician. Make the move. You could do it. Some of y'all are literally decide on if you want to make the move forward to actually go reconcile strong energy of fire, strong energy of water, and strong energy of earth. Some of y'all are going to be sneaking away from a relationship to go reconcile something with a fire sign. Okay. <laughs> and in this cycle, a lot of you guys who have cleared out the blockages in love, hurdled all of the karmic situations and relationships, it's the Ace of Cups. Okay, y'all. Yeah, the lighting is jacked. It's too much light in here. But, yeah, with this Queen of Cups, a lot of y'all have a brand new beginning with a water sign, and it's divinely guided. If only you turn around every situation in your life that could be negative, find a way to turn that shit around to make it a positive so you can go forward and you can remove that blockage. Because I feel a lot of blockage energy, yeah. And I was going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune, and again, that Six of Cups came out. So, yeah, you definitely, it's the end of, I feel like, a karmic cycle with someone that you have children with, especially if there's been a lot of turbulence in the past. Some of y'all going to go into the situation defensive, don't, because you've grown way past that, okay? You've grown way past that, all right? Please clarify this Seven of Swords. Why the Seven says, yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all have a Gemini Libra Aquarius talking y'all. They're stalking y'all, and on the cool, this person is very sneaky. A lot of y'all might be finding out the truth about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially if the energy is younger than you. A lot of y'all going to find out that that person can't be trusted, and y'all going to move away from them. And in doing so, will bring your life victory. This person can't eat at your winning table. It got to be that way. But in the end, you have to leave somebody out in the cold because it ain't meant for you to be. Look, I let those towel moments hit, Aries. The towel moments have to hit. Let them towels fall down, whether it's relationships, work situations, situationships, associateships. Let them fall. A lot of y'all might be learning to keep your grass cut low. In the, from the 1st to the 15th of July. Alright. Yeah. For some of y'all. By leaving this person out in the cold. Especially if you're dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all are going to get your wish. For some of y'all. Y'all going to be dealing with an Aquarius. For some of y'all could be leaving an Aquarius out in the cold. That could be the air sign we talking about as well. Whoa. Alright. This is towel. Huh. I t what did I tell you? I said what's this towel? When the tower falls, with these relationships and these situationships, when the tower falls, 
do the blessings for. But Aries, our heart is so big that we'd even give to our enemies because we so love it. Sometimes God will allow people to burn the bridge so bad and then turn the script so fast that people reap what they sow in very fast. There is victory in letting that tower hit. Okay? Quit avoiding the tower, Aries, for some of y'all. And I think I'm talking to my Aries men because guess what victory is? Thank you, Spirit. And this is at the bottom of the deck. My temperance card. For some of y'all, y'all definitely didn't read the Pisces or Sagittarius. That I feel like it's wanted to give you that give you that divine cup. For some of y'all, patience. Okay? Patience is the lesson. Patience is the lesson to be learned from the first to the fifteenth. That will bring you the balance that you need to move forward, even with your blessings. But you have to be patient in order to get them. And humble yourself and understand that when you get them, who they need to be shared with and who they ain't. Keep all your moves silent. All moves silent. Y'all, Aries, I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all tell people what you want them, which, which you want them to know. Because I do that. Sometimes I tell people bullshit just to see if it's going to get back to other people. And <laughs> just to laugh at it later because I already knew. Divine Angel said, watch them. So I did. I had patience. And through patience did I find out. Who these tall moments got to find fall with so I can move forward and leave their ass behind? Like, I used to know you, because guess what? Definitely could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who's reckless by the mouth, have no understanding, immature energy. Some of y'all, there's victory. And letting that cycle end, let it die. Okay? So that you can bring in this abundance, true love, the coin, newness, and God is covering the whole plan. It's God's plan. Okay? So be thankful for the release of these energies. And guess what? Be patient. Okay? Because it's funny because underneath that card, <laughs> do I got the justice? Some of y'all are being patient because y'all know y'all finna dip hit fast on the Libra. Okay? For some of y'all, y'all having to be patient in the situation because the karmic scales here are definitely turning in your favor. So don't say reckless things out of your mouth because you reap what you sow. And when people say reckless things to you, laugh at them because they don't make you no money. They ain't, their words mean nothing. And when you laugh with your haters, you take their power. Honestly, this karmic justice. Tell y'all mother, come on the move. This entire year is a karmic year, and every dog has their day. You tell your people, thank you, and cut their ass off. A lot of y'all is definitely in Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some of y'all, gonna, most of us, going to cut off the Queen of Swords, or this is our energy. Yeah, I have my own turbulent waters. But understand this, my sword, I'm the sweetest. But life and experience and wisdom then taught me that I can be loving, but you won't touch my throne or I'll cut your fucking neck off. I can ground myself in the midst of turbulent waters, but I don't play that shit. Aries, you ain't got to play that shit, but don't play that shit the nice way. And watch that karmic balance just. You understand? So I love y'all. This is what I have from the 1st to the 15th of July. Deuces, baby. If you need them personals, hit me up. The information is below. Love y'all. It's me, July.